Well, we've come down to fish at the creek at the Gold Gulf State Forest today to see if we can catch some fish. Earlier this week we went out once and didn't catch anything. We did see some wildlife, so I know a lot of you like the wildlife, so what I'll do, I'll show the, the wildlife for our, from our last fishing trip, which is in a dis different place, uh, in between the, the fish we catch. We're just sitting here waiting for the fish to bite. And while we're sitting here looking at the, uh, straight across is a, the 2022 flood level on the tree. I have showed it before, but this time I'll zoom in on it. There it is there, in the middle of a photo. And the water's down there, it'd be five metres above the water level at this stage. The first one here, we'll see what's what has gone on. It's stopped now. It's definitely there. No, it's not. Oh, Fred, it was a good fish. Helen's <laughs> had two goes at this one. This actually is the first fish on the hook for the day. We've had one on before, but he got off. That's a carp. It's a probetic. <laughs> yeah. Roll it. Around the 400 mark. It's hard work. Some red rum parrots come in for a drink. These are quite a common bird in this area. We see them all the time and around the house at home. Well, we shifted up a couple hundred metres to the mouth where the little creek actually meets the billabong. And the billabong goes from up there quite a way and goes down there a long way. Actually, I might get out, there's a lot of pelicans over there. I might try to get a picture of the pelicans down there. Right, we're out looking at the billabong now, and you can see it's a long way up there. And it goes down this way. And we'll see if we can zoom in on those pelicans down there. There they are, coming into focus now. Try to hold the camera still. So I'll give it a shot here and see if there's any fish here. Well, looks like we might have one here. I hope we have. No, it's not on the end of it. Oh, Something but... bit of pretty good. That's the first bite we've had in this spot, so we'll keep going for a little while. I've got one on here, it's getting us in, this is a problem. Oh, coming out of there. Get out of there. It's over here. You can see it down there. Now. Hey? No. Still got to get him over it. Oh, he just fell off. You would have seen that. Second, second catch for today. We're getting a bite here. I'm hoping it's going to take it any second. I think we're just about to strike. Come on. It stopped. No, they were nowhere near it. Well, we're going to pack up for the day. We've tried for four hours, got only one on the bank in that time. But it's been a beautiful day sitting here in the sun at about 21 degrees. So we'll, uh, we'll get the gear in the car and, and go home. Thanks for watching if you've got this far. And um, we'll try to do better in the next one. On the way into the fishing spot, we spotted these emus, so we decided to get a, a bit of a video of them for the people that look at this channel that like the wildlife.
If nothing else, you always find the cormorants around somewhere. They're hard to get a video of them because they're under the water before you can get hold of the camera. Some goats have just appeared. There's a nice sized billy there. Yeah, there's another billy down there by the look of it. Looks like he's the old man of the group, the black one. Yeah, there's about four up top. Five, where are we sort of winding out? Six, seven. Yeah, there's at least seven, I'd say. Yes, the two little black ones is a, the leader of the pack would be this one here, I think, which is a big black billy. For anyone that's still watching, thanks once again. Some of those days like this one was no fish at all, so there wasn't anything to video. After this, you'll find the first day sped up. <laughs>